pal. I can't wait to tell you what I did yesterday. I went apple picking. Yay! Did you know apples come from trees? And most apples are ready to be picked, since it's fall right now. What a great time of year. La, 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 la. La, la, la. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh, I agree. This table is stunning. I meant the turkey, but the table looks nice, too. Oh, I can't wait for all our friends to join us for Thanksgiving dinner. And my Graham Quacker Lily, too. She makes the best double berry cranberry sauce. The perfect balance of tart and sweet. Oh, I remember my first taste of it. We have it year after year. There's never been a Thanksgiving without it. It's tradition. And here's another tradition. Our table centerpiece, the Horn of Plenty. Oh, doodles! Looks like the Horn of Plenty is broken, O Plenty. Then we'll fix it with glue, O Plenty. Happy Thanksgiving, Graham Quacker. Oh, I can't wait to see you today. Oh, and I can't wait to see you, dear. All of our friends are coming, and everyone is bringing all of our favorite traditional dishes. Like candied yams, mashed potatoes, and turkey. And of course, you're bringing the dish that makes everything taste even better, the double berry cranberry sauce. Oh, not this year. Good. Wait, what? You and I have made it together for many years. Now it's time for me to pass the tradition of making the cranberry sauce to you alone. Goody goodness, what an honor. Oh, I'll get started on it right away. Toodle-bye, honey. What is it? Is the turkey on fire? Did a raccoon get in? I hear they love Thanksgiving. No, no raccoon. I... I have to make the double berry cranberry sauce all by myself. I'll never make it as good as Graham. Oh, Daisy, don't be silly. Yeah, you're a great cook. Come on now. Coco Loca and I will help you get everything you need at the store. Okay, but it can't be too sweet and it can't be too tart. <laughs> Orange juice, cloves. Now, all I need are cranberries. Oh, hi, Hilda. Hello, Minnie. I, I know I was supposed to bring candied yams to Thanksgiving dinner, but, well... Oh, no. What's wrong? I went to check on Snow Puff, and when I got back, the yams were a little too candied. They're hard as a rock, ruined. So I thought I'd make a buttery spinach souffle instead. But that's not tradition. We've never had that for Thanksgiving ever. Hilda, the souffle sounds just fine. See you later. Yeah, but come along, Daisy. Cranberries. But... <sighs> You're right. Cranberries. What? No cranberries? Sorry, we're all out of cranberries. How about mushmelon? Double berry mushmelon sauce? No! I need mushberries! I mean cranberries! Well then, check the fruit stand up the street. They might have some. Thanks, Mr. Grocery Man! Come on, girls. Daisy, wait! We still have to pay! Oopsie! <laughs> Almost forgot. Got a case of the cranberry crazies. <laughs> this up. I'm in a hurry. There! Roadside fruit stand! Oh, and they have lots of cranberries. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Minnie. Say, how many pumpkin pies do you think we should make for Thanksgiving dinner? Oh, I think two pies would be pumpkin and perfect. Easy, Goofy. And just one at a time. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> Two pies, did you say? Uh, how about something else this year? Like Triple fudge brownie sundaes? Triple fudge who's a what? Well, that's not a Thanksgiving tradition. <laughs> now, Daisy, you can be a little flexible. Well, okay. At least we'll still have Graham Quacker's double berry cranberry sauce. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Oh. Daisy, don't look. Oh, no. I told you not to look. <gasps> I'll get another basket. Quacker doodles, they're all gone. Daisy, I'm so sorry. If only 
way we knew where cranberries grew. Great idea, Kukuloka. They grow in bogs. And there's a cranberry bog right at the edge of town.